Hi guys, uh, very good evening to you. Welcome to the video number 250 and uh, this is a very uh, actually special occasion because we have just completed our 250 videos and at the same time we have also exceeded our 500 subscribers so thank you so much for this thank you thank you for your all the support for all your love and um, today in this video i'm actually going to talk about the ms access we are going to answer one of my subscribers uh, question which is actually on the ms access and uh, while doing that uh, we will be discussing about the parameter query and the combo boxes so this is going to be very useful uh, video in, in case if you are somebody who really works on excel uh, on the access a lot right so i received actually this comment a um, couple of i think uh, five days back right so this came from varis communication and uh, the question which he has actually put up that's actually in the you know indian language so i i can just uh, you know summarize what exactly he is looking forward to uh, so he has an access database there is an access database and i have mobile numbers in table I, I have made the query and every time I need to look up the information for some mobile number I need to write the complete mobile number is there any way that I don't have to type in the whole mobile number and I can see the records right this is what exactly he has written so just to make you uh, you know uh, just to make ensure that what exactly I'm going to do here is I, I have just converted this actually in, in English right so guys uh, in this video uh, this is really going to be very awesome video it's a very good question actually so I have created a database here here, a dummy database and uh, so in this database I have kept three uh, basically the fields right so one is the mobile number the second is the state and then there is a customer name right now what actually happens uh, the problem is uh, now you see that you have all the mobile numbers here okay so if you know the query if you if you know how to make the queries in access select queries I'm talking about you can just go ahead and click on this you know the query design and you just um, insert this table over here add and now let's say i want this number mobile number state and customer name the moment i run this you see that obviously you will get all the information right but just in case if you need a number specific number information then again go to the design view and just put the here the criteria okay so this is what exactly let's say i'm looking forward to i want to get the information which has this number and the moment i run this now you would see that i have only one record right now this is not a basic video first of all let me tell you okay if you if you don't have any knowledge about the access please don't watch this video you can watch i mean <laughs> i'm not stopping you but you know and just in case if you're looking forward to uh, some information gain then i think it will be difficult for you because this is going to be the intermediate access level right but yes i can do i can suggest you one thing you can just go to this uh, you know uh, on my channel and uh, on the channel you we have all the videos i'm not sure now you're watching you know my channel or not but just to you know give you that comfort zone uh, we have excel videos we have excel vba videos we have access videos we have access v vba videos you just need to scroll and you know find it out all this under the playlist different different playlists so you have the access macros you have the access query if you go ahead and watch here you know click on this and uh, you will get to know that how exactly the access queries are so maybe you can you know uh, you would be interested in finding it out this parameter query by the way this is the parameter query which i'm going to use in this you know uh, video so you can go ahead and guys and watch all these you know the videos one by one they all talk about the access queries and not only this you know once you uh, you have the list all the list here so whatever actually you are interested in you can go ahead and watch those uh, you know the videos we have the videos on the access table access macros and day by day you know i'm actually expanding this access videos also right we didn't really have so much of the videos on the access but now from the last i think one and a half month we are really aggressively working on this right we mean you and me right all right so in this case now what exactly you need to do i'm going to take the help of the access query right i think this is what exactly you must be doing you have created a select query a simple query let me just name it as query one that's it right so every time you're looking forward to any information for example now i need the information for this okay i copy this and i again go to the design view of this and if i have to search for this particular mobile number then i'm going to actually copy and paste this and i you know will click and i get the information but this is not exactly you're looking forward to you need that you just write maybe first four numbers or five numbers and then all the numbers 
all the numbers which starts with that mobile number should come and that is really i i know that is absolutely it's going to uh, you know uh, make a lot of sense because it's going to make your query very easy right you don't have to type in the numbers again and again right so now what we are actually going to do in that case you need to create the parameter query okay let me show you design view instead of this criteria what you need to do you simply need to write enter mobile number okay let me write here mobile number now you can write here anything right you can write here anything uh, but i just like to write here enter mobile number or maybe enter number whatever it to you right the moment you run this query see this now this pop-up would come and you have to write the mobile number here right so if i enter the mobile number here the same number which i have pasted i run this and the result would come but what is the use of it because again i will have to enter the copy and paste the you know the same number right there's no difference in this query in the select query well one advantage is that you you whenever you run this your user who who server is you know going to work on this query they will get this pop-up so they don't have to write anything here the number you know in the criteria they can simply write the number here and if the number exists and then when he presses or she presses okay the result would come right but anyways this is not something we are looking forward to this is the 50 percent of the job we have done now i want that whenever i enter let's say first five numbers or first four numbers i should be able to pick up the, that detail for that mobile number now if you if you have a look here let's say i want to write 9810 and i want to see all the records with the 9810 okay we have uh, i think uh, one and two two records one is this and one is this right so in that way what exactly you can do so if i run this query and uh, you know like this and i say that 9810 obviously this query parameter query we call this parameter uh, parameter query once you you know enclose these uh, text into these uh, you know between these square brackets so what happens this is going to search for the 9810 and we know that there is no 9810 number right so what we can do is we can actually join this with the like operator now like i have used it in many excel videos especially in the count sum functions count if sum functions you can go ahead and watch that playlist excel count and some family that's the name of that i think the playlist right so star means actually it holds it can hold n number of characters right so i'm going to concatenate i'm, I'm going to join this with the like like means actually contains right now contains what so whatever the number the user is going to enter i'm simply going to join it with this star star means anything it can contain any number if the number is there fine if the number is not there then also it is fine so basically what happens when you're going to run this query now okay this query is going to be if i enter let's say 9810 then what how access is going to read this because it has a like and then it is joined by the and operator and the important part is you have used the star button right i have put it i have used this star you know i have put it this within the quotes remember you have to write that because this is a special character right so now what exactly is going to happen the moment you write this 9810 and you run the query as i said star actually means that it can hold n number of characters right so what will happen finally when you run this it means that after 9810 if there is any number if there is any number you know there is no limit to that right then it is going to capture those records so if i press enter let's have a look here you see that all the numbers begin with the 9810 are coming here with the different different records right well that's just a data mistake actually the number should not be coming you know um, having the two people uh, same uh, i mean different people but same number that's not actually true but that's fine i mean this is just a dummy database but you see that how it is working right so if you enter here 98 let me go back to the design view and run this again now if you enter 98 then it would give you all the numbers begin with the 98 so you will have a lot of lot of records right so this is nowhere including the numbers which starts you know with any other number other than your 9 okay so you can see that i have some 4810 they are not coming here so that's the logic you can build in this query you can use the parameter query and especially in the parameter query you can combine it with the like and the star button okay this means that whatever the number they are going to enter afterwards anything whatever i mean any any anything comes that is going to be captured 
So this query looks very wonderful. Whenever the user is going to run this query, let's just save the query and you just need to double click and you just enter the number. Let's say I want to this 9810, I click and you know, it will take you to all the record having this 9810 number right now just in case if you if you're looking forward to let uh, that there, there is something uh, before 9810 also can come then you need to change the query then what you can do you just need to put the one star here as well okay so how are you going to do that you just simply write double quotes and then you write the star double quotes and then and join it with the and right this is how the query would look like okay so if i now go ahead and let's say i run this query and uh, now i'm going to write here let's say eight that means that before eight and after eight anything you know so a number which contains eight is going to be captured in very simple words you press ok and there we go you see that all the numbers have contained this eight right so let me run this uh, maybe if i write here uh, let's say another some another number maybe uh, let's say a number called five let's see how many records we have you see that these are all the records which contains five so I mean you can you know change the situation that's all up to you uh, but be, having a star before this and after this then it means that anything can come before it and anything can come after it if, and if, if it doesn't come no problem that's fine right so you can use this parameter query now uh, there is one more thing I want to tell you guys uh, sometime what happens actually uh, th now this is all about the query you the table was already prepared and you have fetched the racket you know from by using the query but what if you are actually entering a data into a you know table for example I'm talking about this thing for example you're going to uh, create a table Let's go ahead and create the table so uh, then you will understand what I'm actually saying. So let's say uh, I go to the table design and um, let's say I want to create a, a mobile number here. Okay, this is your mobile number. And uh, now what I actually want to do is I want to take the help of another table, for example, maybe this table, the table which has a called numbers. I want to use those numbers here. So in that case, there is a way of doing that. What you can do is instead of giving the short text or number, you can simply write here the look of wizard okay select the look of wizard and then this pop-up would come i will type in my values i want you can type in your own values i have talked about this in other access video also but just in case if you are not want to type in your own mobile numbers but you want to take the help of those numbers which are available in the numbers table so you can just keep this option on why we want the look of fields to get the values from the another table so just click on the next which table now this is the only table i have so by default it is selected i'm quite okay with that next what you need i just need the mobile number that's it next and they should be sorted if you want then you can otherwise it's all up to you right so click on the next and so this is how the numbers would come next and uh, what label would you like to uh, uh, would you like for your look of field so uh, you can keep it like this mobile number as well that's fine just finish this the table must be saved before relationships can be created so definitely i would like to save the table yes i want to save the table and uh, i can give the table name let's say example okay so uh, there is no primary key defined now primary key means that would you like to create any duplicate item here do you want that when the user enters something which is already entered you know if that is allowed or not so in this case i really don't want to go for that so i just i am simply going to say that do you want to create a primary key no i don't want to create it let's just keep it no okay i'm going to close this and now you see that in the example you will have all the drop downs coming here so here you don't have to write the numbers you can choose the numbers from here okay so this is also uh, one of the technique i mean you know that in the drop downs kind of format you can use this the moment you type in 98 you know uh, you would get this numbers by default and just press escape you will be out of it so the moment i press 8 you see that all the numbers are coming so let's say i press 8 8 and then 5 you see the number gone why because there is no number as such which starts with the triple eight and five so this is also the option right so i've given you both the options if you want to use the query in the query you can use the parameter query using the like operator and uh, then um, you know uh, if you are entering the data in the table and you want to use this option you really don't want actually that you know every time you will have to type in the numbers then this is also another quick shortcut both have the different 
uh, purposes but uh, you know the technique is almost like same right there you create the uh, parameter query using the star and the like operator and here you actually simply use the combo box but the idea is same that once you type in something you should be able to see that details right so in this way you can actually create the tables so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions on that just do, do let me know that and don't forget to subscribe to the channel watch all those awesome playlists you know here i have all the kept uh, i have kept all the different different playlists here and they are a combination of all the basic and the advanced videos if you're if you're somebody who's just begun with the access or excel or vba just go and find out the basic videos under these categories thank you so much guys for watching and i will be back soon with some another exciting stuff thank you so much bye, -bye.